Vulture boys and girls. Maura Logue back with you again. Today's story is all about holy and saintly men and their legacies at Drumhome Parish. I ask you to look at Drumhome Heritage Society website and find Drumhome Church and Ancient Graveyard. This was a very important religious site in 500 and 600 AD. And Column Kill is associated with the monastery that was there many centuries ago. Column Kill, you know, could have been a king or a prince if he wanted, because he was of the royal bloodline of O'Neill. But instead, he chose to be a monk and to spread God's word. Saint Columkill had a nephew. His name was Saint Ernan. The local primary school at Ballantra is named after Saint Ernan. Saint Ernan, Columkill's nephew, could also have chosen a royal lifestyle. But he, like Columkill's uncle, wanted to spread God's word. When he was an adult, Colum Kill made him abbot of Drum Home Monastery. And he worked tirelessly at that monastery to educate young monks. Saint Ernan, you know, is the patron saint of the Diocese of Drum Home. And his relation, Saint Eunan, was also a famous monk a man who knew an awful lot about religious law. And he is the patron saint of the Diocese of Raffo. All these men were related, and they gave their life to spreading God's word. Some years ago, Drumhome Heritage Society invited archaeologists to come and scan the land of Drumhome Churchyard. And they found very interesting findings. We know now from their findings that the monastery that was at Drum Home Church many centuries ago was a very impressive monastery. And it was a place of learning. There was even a library there. Now, in the year 600 AD and before that, Libraries were very, very seldom seen in Donegal. Most people didn't know how to read, and books were very scarce. There was no paper or printing press in those days. But monks were skilled at writing, and they spent their times in scriptoriums, copying spiritual text and biblical quotes and Bibles. And they wrote with natural dye ink. They wrote with quills or with reeds that were finely honed and pointed. There was no paper, so they used instead vellum, which was calf skin. And we know that the Book of Kells took over 185 calf skins to complete its volume. So books were as precious as gold dust. All writings were in Latin, because that was the language of trade and commerce at the time. Colum Kill was proud of the work that he and his nephew Ernan had done at Drum Home Church and Ancient Graveyard. And we know too that Saint Ernan is buried there at the ancient churchyard. So be history detectives like those archaeologists and find out more about the ancient sacred sites of the parish of Drum Home. The Drum Home Heritage Society can support you with this if you go to their website. You will find out more about the rich legacies of saintly men who lived here centuries ago. 
I wish you well with your detective work. And I shall see you again soon. Slan, August Banner.